The donation of safety equipment to small-scale fisher folk is part of the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization, FAO's Emergency Response Project. Already, some 300 livestock and 500 cash crop farmers benefited from safety equipment. The donation on Wednesday comprised of items such as fuel containers, life jackets, first aid kits, and rain jackets. FAO's country representative, Dr. Gillian Smith, said during brief remarks that the items cost some $9.6 million. We know that there is a great concern of, for small fishers and their ability to stay safe at sea while they are making their livelihood. And so we're very pleased to be able to provide some support. Meanwhile, Minister of Agriculture Zulfikar Mustafa said that the FAO study on the local fishing industry will be released soon and pointed out that agriculture is important to the country and the Caribbean's development. Very shortly, I will be releasing a report from the FAO, a study that was conducted by the FAO, to look at the low catches that our fisher folks was experiencing or are experiencing over the last few months and that report is very objective and I want to say that in that report if you could if one summarized that report it concludes that because of climate change we have seen the reduction of fishes around our the normal fishing ground. An earlier study by the FAO with the help of the Environmental Protection Agency, EPA, also found that the decline in fish catches is as a result of climate change. To counter the challenges faced by small-scale fishermen, the government removed tax on fishing equipment and fuel and is currently distributing a one-off 150,000 cash grant to fishers. Reporting for the newsroom, I am Isanella Patwo.